everyone. I love making music. I love singing and making sounds and rhythms. And today I'm going to show you how you can make some really easy peasy musical instruments just using regular household recycling and other bits and pieces so that you can make some beautiful music at your house. <coughs> Gorgeous. I'm Aideen and welcome to Playful Pathways. The first instrument that we're going to make is a tin can drum. And for this, we're going to need a tin can, scissors, tape, balloons, decorations, and drumsticks. Okay, so all we need to do for this is take your first balloon and we're going to cut the nose of it off. So that's this long bit here, so that you're left with just the round bit at the end. Okay, like this. And then we're going to stretch this right over the top of the tin can. Now, be aware that sometimes tin cans can be a little bit sharp on the inside, so perhaps it's a good idea for grown-ups to do this a little bit. Okay, stretch it right over the top. So it's nice and good and tight. Okay, checks. That's nice. Okay, and then if you want to have uh, another colour peeking through, like on this one, you can take a second balloon, cut the nose off that one, and then cut lots of little tiny holes in the top of it. And then you can stretch that one over the top so you can see the other colour peeking through. Make sure it's nice and good and tight. Nice. Okay, and then I'm going to get some tape here and I'm going to wrap the tape all the way around the outside so that the balloons stay in place and they don't come flying off, which they might like to do because they're quite stretchy. And there we are. Oh, that looks good. Okay, and then you can decorate the rest of the tin can. And kids, I think that one can be your job. Okay, so how about we move on to the next one? We've had something for banging and tapping. How about something for blowing, like a lolly stick harmonica? Okay, great. This one is a really nice, easy one. All you're gonna need are some lolly sticks, a wide rubber band, some scissors, and some tape. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one lolly stick and wrap the wide rubber band around the lolly stick from end to end. Now, if you're using bigger lolly sticks, you're probably gonna need a bigger rubber band so that it fits really nice and tightly and snugly from end to end. And then I'm gonna take another lolly stick and I'm gonna sandwich it on top so we can see it on the rubber band on one side and not on the other. Now, I want to make sure that when I pinch the two ends together, there's a little bit of a gap in between because that's what's gonna make the sound. So let me try it out. Ah! Oh, that's quite nice. If you're finding that there's not much sound though, you can take your top rubber band, give it just a little bit of a bend and put it back on top. Okay, let's try it out. Ah! Nice, okay. And then I'm gonna take my tape and I'm gonna put a little bit of tape at each end just to hold them together. Whoop, come back. Okay, there we go. Let's put a little bit on each end, just pinching those two ends together really nice and tightly. There we go, one and two. Okay, and let's try it out again. Ah! Oh, I like that. So we've had something for banging and tapping, something for blowing, how about something for shaking? Like these shakers. So for this, you're going to need some toilet rolls, some tin foil, some rice, some tape and some scissors, and some things for decorating them with. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut off a bit of tin foil that I'm going to use to fit over the end of the toilet roll. So let's cut a piece like that. Okay. And then I'm going to put that over the end of the toilet roll like that. And then using my tape, I'm gonna wrap it all the way around so that it's really snug and tight. Okay. Now wrap it around a good few times so that it's definitely not gonna come off. Okay. 
and you might even want to put a bit of tape over the bottom so that little fingers can't poke through. And then I'm going to put in a couple of spoons or little handfuls of rice. So there's one and I'm going to put another one in. Two. Oh, that sounds good. And I'm going to put the tin foil over the other end again and some tape on that. Where is that end gone now? There you are. And I'm going to tape that on good and tight just like the other end. All the way around. Don't want it peeking off at all. Come back to me. There it is. And now I'm going to put lots of tape over both ends. Where's that end gone? There it is. So as I say, little fingers can't poke their way through. There we go. Okay, just check that's all covered up. It is. And let me check, let me do a little sound test there. Yeah, that sounds good. And now you can decorate it however you like. I made mine silver and spotty, but you can decorate yours however you want. So we've had something for banging and tapping. We've had something for blowing. We've had something for shaking. How about something for clicking? Like these castanets. So all you're gonna need for these ones is some cardboard, some buttons of roughly the same size, some strong glue and some scissors. And of course, you'll need some lovely things for decorating them with. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna cut out a piece of cardboard until it is roughly the right size and shape for the little hands that are going to be playing this instrument. So that when it's folded in half, it's the right size, okay? And then I'm going to take my two buttons of roughly the same size, they don't have to be exactly the same. And I'm gonna take a dollop of this strong glue and put it right there, good big blob of it, and put it on the inside, close to the edge. Ooh, that's fine if it comes through. And I'm gonna put some on the other side so that when they're dry, they're gonna to come together in roughly the same place. Now this is the only one of the instruments that we're gonna to have to wait a little while before we can play it because we need for the glue to dry. But once the glue has dried and they have met each other and they're making their great sound, you can decorate them, you can paint them, you can color them in, you can put stickers on them, you'll know what to do. Okay, so we've had something for banging, Something for blowing, something for shaking, something for clicking. How about for our last one, we have something for strumming. Like a guitar. So for this, you are going to need an empty tissue box, four rubber bands, two pencils, some scissors, and something for the handle. I like to use a wooden spoon. And of course, some lovely things to decorate it with once it's finished. So here's the first thing we need to do. Taking your box, because I'm going to use a wooden spoon handle, I'm going to put some scissors, this might be a grown-up job, this one, on the inside and make a bit of a hole. There we go. So that my wooden spoon can fit through. There we go. Lovely. There's my wooden spoon handle ready to go. And then taking my rubber bands, I'm going to... Whoop, Stretchy, stretch, stretch them. Ooh, there's one. And two. I'm gonna shuffle them there so they're in side by side, roughly evenly spaced apart. I'm gonna put two on this side of the handle and then I'm gonna put two on this side. There's another, and another. There we go, as I say, nicely, 
roughly evenly spaced apart there. Doesn't sound very nice, but wait till I put my pencils in. Wait for it. Oh, tuck them underneath, tuck the pencils in underneath all four of your strings on each side like this. Okay, and then that sounds pretty good. I think it might be time for me to start my own band. have loads of fun making musical instruments and playing music at your house. As you can see, we're pretty awesome. To get a full list of the materials that you need for today's video and a bunch of other resources, then head over to my Patreon page where you can also find out about becoming part of the Playful Pathways community. Or if you want some other ideas of fun things to make and play at home, then please press subscribe. Thanks for watching and hopefully I will see you again soon. Bye.